Okay, so I got contacted recently by Fifine who make this microphone uh, and they've sent me a microphone in exchange for me doing a review on it. And uh, I was thinking of upgrading my microphone anyway because I realized my sound isn't, isn't brilliant. I've been happy with this Blix microphone, which is a Lavalier microphone, because for a convenience point of view, uh, it is super easy to just put a phone in my pocket and use the sound like that. Uh, but when I can actually sit at a desk, when I can narrate a video properly, I realize I can get much, much better audio. And uh, it's a really nice feel to this. It's all rubberized on the bottom, uh, but it's a, like a really solid metal. Uh, you've got this mute button on the front here, which you just press in and release, uh, and it goes either red or green to say whether it's muted. Uh, it's also got analog level controls for microphone and headphone as well. Uh, and it works with an iPhone or an iPad, just with a lightning to USB adapter. And this is an unofficial lightning to USB adapter. And you literally just plug it in and it powers the microphone. And I haven't found, you can add external uh, USB power. So if I plug this lightning adapter into here, that adds power to it as well. But I found you don't actually need it and it does work incredibly well. So I plug this into my iPad and I'm just gonna use the ordinary video recording mode uh, just so there's nothing colored, nothing added or anything like that. Now I realize it needs to be closer to me. So what I'm gonna do is put it on the box for now because my standing desk goes, this is as high as it goes. Uh, and if I would probably sit down would be the better option. Uh, but let's move that around and get to about the distance that I need to be. Okay, so I'll switch over to the Fifine microphone now and uh, you'll be able to hear the audio and hear how the difference is. I'm trying not to speak any differently than I was before. I do find that if I'm using this style of microphone, I, I don't talk as naturally as I normally do, so I've, I've got to get used to that. Uh, but I guess if I'm concentrating on whatever video I'm producing, then uh, I probably would just forget about that. But it's just because I'm conscious that I'm testing a microphone, I feel uh, that I keep talking differently because I'm doing a microphone. Anyway, I wanted to show as well uh, GarageBand because there's loads of different effects and things like that. So if I put my headphones on and uh, switch over to GarageBand, now there's definitely better ways of doing this, um, but I'm using the uh, screen capture on GarageBand and I'm monitoring it on my headphones so I can hear what it sounds like. Obviously it probably sounds a bit weird at the moment. Uh, let's put the compressor down. Uh, if I play around with these settings, uh, so I can add a bit of echo, I can add a bit of reverb, uh, especially if I add both of these and then go. And then go. <laughs> It does, it does. The pickup, the, the detail pick is detail just, is I, think just I think it's incredible. It's really, 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 really it works really. incredibly well. Uh, I love all these effects and things like that. I don't know what all these are. So extreme stereo. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that adds a bit of bit of space to it. So, uh, and if I move the compressor down or up, you can see, you can hear that doing a difference live. Uh, now I'm, I love messing about with GarageBand, but I'm not musical and uh, I don't really know what I'm doing uh, with this. It's it's one of those things that you have to spend a lot of time with. So we've got a fan. Uh, I've got a monster voice now, and uh, I can move. Or, or I can be a smaller monster. <laughs> uh, I can be a chipmunk. And uh, Apple Tones. The size of that as well. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's an odd voice. Uh, so I've got extreme tuning uh, with various different pitch control. A nice bit of depth on that. Uh, then we've got telephone, bullhorn, which is terrible. I, d I don't get the whole dreamy thing. How is, how is this dreamy? Am I sounding dreamy? I don't think I am. Uh, and then we've got robot. I quite like this one. Uh, and you can change the weight of that and lower it down. But let's go back to, so this is it's down as clean. Um, and uh, I don't know if I'm, I'm getting a bit of a delay in my headphones, so I don't know if that's, uh, if you're hearing it. Well, I'll see on the final edit. So we can add a bit of reverb to that. We can add a bit of echo to that. We can just sort of play around with it and uh, and try and get the right sort of sound. But uh, yeah, it obviously I'll probably do most of the videos in in just, just the flat through the video and not, not editing to it. But I guess that, uh, you know, part of the reason that some people get this great audio is they play around with it a lot um, and use all these different settings and things like that. Okay, so let's switch back over to the video. Um, oh, I was going to do, uh, so So if you add a bit of echo and a bit of reverb and go. Okay, so I messed about with GarageBand for ages, but not a lot of it was usable. So uh, let's switch over to the Raspberry Pi, which is where I do a lot of my content. And uh, I'm currently using, again, the Blix microphone, the Lavalier microphone. And uh, I'm going to switch over to 
the FiFine microphone, but I need to launch Audacity for that. And I've just installed it. If you want to install it, just go to settings and add remove software on Raspberry Pi OS or uh, in this case, Twister OS and uh, just do a search for Audacity and you'll find it's there. And the nice thing about Twister is you can start typing part of it and it will find it. So Audacity, let's close that down. And uh, so under microphone, let's click on the drop down. Oh, you can see Fifine 678K678. So let's click on that. And uh, I don't know what else I have to do. I guess I just press record. I'm just experimenting with it and trying to work out what works best for me. Okay, so I'll switch over to the Audacity recording from the FiFine microphone now. And uh, I haven't played around with any levels, haven't done anything. I'm just leaving it stock uh, and see how that goes. So let's minimize that and let that record in the background. And while I'm doing that, let's go to uh, open a tab and let's search for this microphone so I can show you a bit about it. So Fifine K678, oh, so it looks like this is their, their own website. Of course, it's cheaper in the US. Oh yeah, it comes with this little adapter. The connection is mini USB, and mini USB is one of my favorite USB connections. Now, nowadays, I think probably USB-C is the, is the choice, but the thing about mini USB is I never had a mini USB cable break. Micro USB was just horrible but mini usb was actually pretty decent oh so you can listen to some audio it looks like there's maybe a video that they're using the microphone to record with so let's see what it says uh, set up with ease and control of a pro well i have just plugged it into a raspberry pi and it works absolutely fine i have used it with my iphone and my ipad absolutely fine works with windows works with mac so it pretty much works with everything that uses uh, audio now I plugged my headphones into the bottom of the microphone and that's how I was monitoring the audio with just an ordinary three and a half mil jack which I thought was quite nice as well so very handy if you're using it for gaming things there that by looking at the mesh top and slick black finish body and holding in your hand to feel it's heavy duty the word premium is on the tip of your lip to be honest it does feel like a really high quality product it feels very solid uh, it does feel very premium and uh, and it does look very professional it's not they're not trying to you know put any different colors or trim or anything like that it just looks like a professional microphone some like the appeal of an xlr microphone setup which involves more controls thinking it is more likely to record the higher quality signal but it could also be a death trap one mistake with any dial and you'll sound like garbage. To be fair, I'm not messing about with any of these levels and to get the best from it, that's what you would do. Obviously, I was messing about with GarageBand, but I was doing that to play with it. So I'm back onto my Lavalier mic again. Uh, if I file and export and export as MP3, I've used this for ages. Uh, so I can save that on my NAS drive. Uh, which would be under, oh, I think to get it under the NAS drive, do you have to first of all uh, browse network, browse my NAS and connect. Uh, let's go for public. And I think once you've done that, it tends to show up on things like this. Uh, oh yeah, they're public. Uh, so let's just, what setting is it on? 170 to 210, I'm happy with that. MP3 is all right for me. Yeah, I'm not gonna change anything. Uh, I'm just gonna hit save. Uh, what's it called? It's called Untitled. So I'm gonna call it Fifine. And then I'll be able to pick that up on my iPad and bring it into the edit and I'll be able to add it to it so you can hear it on the recording. All that, artist name, Lee PSP video. I should, put, should have put my some of my beatboxing on there, uh, which was terrible. So exporting the audio with standard preset. So that was the audio that you would have heard uh, when you saw the image of the FiFine microphone on the screen. That was the FiFine microphone working. Yeah, so I'm impressed with it. I'm going to keep using it. I'm, uh, I'm really happy with how it works. I'm really happy with that it works with so many of my different devices. And uh, thanks very much to FiFine for sending it to me. I hope this all helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.